When did the backwoods hit the Yay area, man? Uh, I was in uh, I was in the uh, pen, but uh, the Frisco uh, 49ers went to the Super Bowl in '94 in Miami. So my partner in Miami, his name is Mike Lott. He used to be uh, this one back when, when we was in jail. He was down. He was doing a uh, hype man for N2D. He's calling him Lott. So he went out there. He said when he got out there, you know, my was you know, smoking backwoods, doing right, different right. shit. Right. So when the Frisco won. Uh, the Super Bowl, he named himself Miami, California. Miami, California. Yeah, mm -hmm. and came back with Backwoods in 1994. That's crazy, and that's when they hit the scene. Yeah, and then when Dre got out, which in 96, they was already smoking it, and Dre took it to another level. But you know, we was on federal parole, yeah. and we, we don't supposed to smoke. Right. So I ended up talking to Dre from the pen on the phone. Yeah. I'm like, Cuddy, you know what I'm saying? He's like, man, Cuddy, nigga, it's this new shit. You can smoke, nigga. It's a thousand percent guarantee you won't catch it dirty. You know, he said in the back of the book of high time. <laughs> in the back of the book. <laughs> I'm like, for real? He said, yeah, nigga, when you got, out, nigga, we smoking big. I'm smoking big <laughs> right now. Fuck. Man, I talked to that nigga about two weeks later. He said, Cuddy, you wouldn't believe this shit. I said, what? He said, I got 14 dirties. Wow. Uh, nigga, on the run. That's when he made Stupid Doodle -doo Dunk. Yeah, he I'm made it on the run. Wow, so he went back to the feds. So so this nigga thought he could smoke weed. I guess he was reading the back of the high time. But that nigga was like a thousand percent <laughs> guarantee, Cuddy. When you get out watch, nigga, it's going to be big. Right. That nigga called, I'm telling you, 14 dirty. That's Manny, yeah, that's man. all the way, you, all the way. He said, right. Cuddy, I'm a fugitive now. I said, what? He's a fugitive to the man. I said, you just, I said, man, he said, I'm on the run, fuck it. I'm on the run, fuck it. Then he went back, and that's when I, like I say, when I, when I got out, Dread, uh, he went back and he got out two months before I got out. So I went and did, I did my whole bid. Right, right. And Dre went and got out and he came back and did a violation. Mm. So I got out like two months after Dre. Okay. So we got out in 99. The, who introduced Mac Dre to backwards? Wasn't like Doobie or somebody? It had to be, it, yeah, Doobie probably as soon as he got out. Like, right. I could see all the case. Yeah. They were smoking and the crush was already turned out. Right. What, what's, what's your favorite memory with Mac Dre? Cause I know y'all was hella tight. So. Hello, man. Just yeah, like right. I said, it's unlimited. You know, what I'm right, saying? it can be good memories, whatever right. kind of memories. It right, just, right. it just, you know, yeah. that nigga was just a. Uh, he was hella, uh, uh, hella funny. Like right. he was like he, what he was, what he rapped about. That nigga was a hell of a character. Right. I used to be thinking when he was turning into these different shit. I used to be thinking some of that shit was Bootsy and shit. Right. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. but. That nigga knew what he was doing. Oh, yeah, he was ahead of his time. yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. nigga, I remember one time nigga come out, this nigga on some, some fucking gym shorts, like a whole little shit, and he got his fucking socks rolled up. I'm looking at him, I'm like, man, that shit, that nigga is crazy. He had an afro, he had his uh, uh, headband on. I'm like, man, I'll never, in my mind, I'm like, man, I'll never do that shit. This nigga, they gonna crack up when they see this nigga. Man, they saw him at 80 in my life. Every day he was doing it, and I got, then I started understanding. Right. I'm like, this nigga is different. Yeah. Like, when we was in the pen, uh, now I understand, that nigga used to study being rich. Mm, okay. So when we got out, it was kind of hard for me to uh, get comfortable with just spending all my money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, man, I can't. I can't do it like that. <laughs> but he showed me, like, man, you know, this is for the moment. Right. Money don't last, so right. if you got a bigger picture, right. then you gotta spend all your money for this car. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, he always did. That nigga used to go and go buy Benz. That's when Benz when 500s was in. I remember he spent $108,000 from yeah. a check, off a rap check. Mm -hmm. Then he went and got the G Wagon, he spent right. $85,000. Mm. Then he went and got the Rover, he spent. That's when the Rover, he spent yeah. 86 He was just shit. I swear to God, yeah. this boy is all pal. I'm like, man, this nigga was doing Dre. And then, then when when we this is what made me know that the nigga was different because I never like 
Now I've been around him all the time, so I never tripped right. on the value of what he was doing. Right. They used to wear the Bearberry jackets, all that shit. When we went and like buried him and try to you know mimic what he had on, man, that shit came up to like fifty thousand dollars. That nigga had a, his glasses he was wearing. The motherfuckers right. was like twenty three bands. Mm. We were thinking we were gonna pay fifteen. Right, right. I was like, God, increase in value. Man, no, that nigga would know. No, this yeah. is how much he was spending. Uh, I didn't know them jackets was 8,600, them Burberry shit he was wearing. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I was thinking niggas was wearing that because he was wearing with some Adidas or something. Yeah. And he had that shit yeah. throwed up on the ground. and I see the glasses every, like, you know, he had yeah. hell of them motherfuckers yeah. different. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Cardi, he had all that shit. The Versace, he had all that shit. Right. I, the Gucci, he was Louis. Peace. He was peace. I would never go by. And nigga, we, was in, we went to Alaska. A nigga went and bought a Timberwolf. We went out there. I made it out there t uh, three days before them. It kind of tripped me because we all, me, him, and Ryder supposed to went together. Right. So somehow, I don't know what happened in between the tickets, but I end up where Ryder and Dre missed the flight. So, you know, it was a holdover in Seattle. You know, you got to go to the holdover and then you get on Alaska Airlines and go to Alaska. Right. So I'm in Seattle and them niggas didn't come. I'm like, man, where the niggas I am on the plane? Yeah. So I called, they still in the, and really in Frisco. Mm. Ryder somewhere else, but Ryder coming different. Dre is in Frisco. I'm like, man, I'm coming back. Right. Dre was like, man, you better not come. I'm like, man, I'm telling you, I'm not going to Alaska without yeah, no, I don't know man. nobody yeah, out yeah. there. Yeah. He's like, man, that's your job. I'm like, man, I don't want to hear that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'll like, quit today. <laughs> he's trying to pull that shit, cuz. So he's like, man, you gotta go. So he's like, I'm gonna call your mama. He know if he call my mama. You know, mama gonna make me go. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm call your mama. Hey, the coach, Mac Dre, yeah. everybody so, wanna call so, your mama? So, no, so I'm like, all right, it's cool. cool. All right, so I, I'm like, man, let's see, I'm hella mad. Stomach, you know, I get nervous on planes, so I start getting sick. So when I get on the, uh, uh, I get on the plane, so I go to last, I get there. Niggas come pick me up. Niggas is cool though. Right. Break a nigga, I'll give a nigga weed, get a nigga spot, all this shit. So I'm. Calling Dre, they ain't came yet. So it's night. I'm kind of sick a little bit. So the next day, I get up. Hella niggas want verses from Dre. Right. I instantly tell him, man, $6,000. Right. Them niggas was breaking, man. I'm telling you, when that nigga <laughs> get off the plane, him and Rob charging whatever for Ryder. I forgot, uh, like 20, whatever. But I gave Dre, like, close to about, like, three, about 30 racks, and Ryder, like, about. 15 to 18 racks, whatever it was. Crazy. So we go to the place where you know they do the shit. So they they telling us they go kill animals and skin them and put them on the motherfucker. So these motherfuckers costing hella money. Dre the Timberwolf, Dre want that shit. That mother that shit was like thirty seven thousand. I'm like, Cuddy, you crazy. He's like, 37 for the like, Timberwolf. He was he's like, they gonna go kill a kill at Timberwolf, though, Cuddy. <laughs> like, I got, they gonna go kill him and skin him for me. And all. I'm like, he man, was I was. Yeah. So I had about like 15 racks on me. So my range, it's like a little, a fox or something. <laughs> quarter lift. I'm like, man, I'm, sure. he's like, Cuddy, nigga, that's nigga. They don't, I said, I wish I would, nigga, get a quarter lift. Uh-uh, I ain't spend no fit. He was like, cut, you gotta do it. I'm like, I, man, uh-uh. I'm gone. I'm like, you crazy if you do it. He like, nigga, I, he, I complain so much, he act like he wasn't doing it. So I don't know what he did, but I swear to God, nigga, I'm getting this Timberwood. That's crazy. Look, we was coming back from the airport, and we came into Sac Airport. Man, they was looking at that nigga like King Joffy Joseph. Yeah, he was walking through. They was like, who the fuck is this man? That nigga was walking through Sac Airport. Yeah. On our way back. They was like, who is him? He's a king or something? Yeah, yeah Timberwolf fucking hanging out like, his body. I told you, cut you see? I told you. Yeah. It's worth it. They was eating him like, I bought hella like, that's when the, uh, when the throwbacks came out. Yeah. I bought damn near that shit. Yeah, hell yeah. That's crazy. That nigga had the Timberwolf. Then we went to a club. He's dumb piece for that. Swear, we, we coming up to a club and sat. It's, man, it's about, about 50 of us. You know how you walking up to the club, yeah. the owner can see that we hyphy right. because niggas is already dancing right. before they get there. Right. Yeah. Doing all yeah. kinds of like, oh, Shows outside, the shit. nigga Dre got the Timberwolves on. <laughs> the owner say, man, Dre, you is so fucking, I, 
man, I can't let all these niggas in. Dre said, I ain't going in with all my niggas. Right, right. He said, man, you'll make my club so big. You know, he trying to talk yeah. Dre in. Right, right. He's like, I ain't going in with all my niggas. Period. So Dre didn't go in, so them niggas dance all night in front of this club. But that Timberwolf, man, I couldn't believe it. That nigga spent about 39000 on that motherfucker. You know how I told you, Cuddy? I saw him. They were like, they were, they were just amazed. Right. Like, who is this motherfucker? He got a wolf on. Yeah, man, that shit was white. Yeah, it was. Timberwolf. It was, it was man, that shit was down his knees, I'm it's telling wet. you. Like, was he wearing that on the cover or something? Nah, uh-huh. was it? Cause I, I wore, it. I had it before. Uh-huh. You know, I got, you know, I got them. You know, we got it right That's what, uh, not chinchilli, but what is that right there? That's it. That's yeah, what, that's, 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 yeah, that's what I was talking that's about. It, yeah, right he's wearing it on the cover. That stuff. motherfucker cost thirty nine thousand. Yeah. You see that motherfucker? Yeah. That's a Timberwolf. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. Man, this pretty, yeah. pretty fucking that's amazing. That's that classic. <laughs> That's that classic, classic, classic. Thinking that nigga walking through the airport like that, they was like, "What is that nigga's a king?" <laughs> that nigga's, a, that's, a, that's that man Gray shit. Yeah, that nigga was different. So yeah. I, I promise you, hypey is uh something that's already been, you know what I'm saying? At like just the Bay Area, mm-hmm. like right. the Oakland dudes, you know what I'm saying? Just, right. you know what I'm saying? But it, 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 it what I mean when I when I say hypey, I might see four dudes or come in a party. Right. And they over 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 movement. Right. They on some hikey shit. Right. It might be some smirker shit too. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, right. These niggas yeah. for the shit. High octane. Yeah. High octane. Hey, them niggas hype. Them yeah. niggas, them niggas hype over there. Right. Cause he watch them. Right. So it's more like you know what I'm saying. You gotta watch them yeah, niggas. Yeah, watch them niggas. You know what yeah. I'm saying. It ain't about you know what I'm saying yeah. dancing and having yeah. fun, but it's about niggas some movement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. But it was more you know what I'm saying accumulated to you know we was already hype. You know what I'm saying. Right. We was already. Going dumb and yeah. being stupid anyway, so it's just a, it's a big cultural, yeah. it's like a cultural thing. You know what I'm saying? So you used to, you used to still talk to Mandre's mom a lot. Yeah, that's that's my mother. So uh-huh. you know, of course, you know that's that's what Wanda, I gotta do. You know, she, yeah, she uh yeah she's she yeah she's very uh on point with everything. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know it's like I, she look over everything. You know, me and man, everything I do. So oh, and, and, you know, and then you know so. Yeah, that's that's our map.